Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For this tutorial, we're gonna try something that is reminiscent of acrylic painting. As you guys know, some of you know, I'm very inspired by it. So I am going to try a marbled chocolate wrap and a textured buttercream and marbled chocolate cake toppers in a hexagon shape. So what we're basically doing is going ahead and getting our cake crumb coated. It's already filled. Uh, this is a six inch cake. There are four layers of six inch cake and I am just covering it with my American, crusting American buttercream that I will link the recipe and um, attach a tab directly to that video. And we're gonna get this as smooth as we can, but don't worry too much about it because we're going to be doing um, some more techniques that are going to finish this off. But what I'm doing here is I made butter ganache, which I will attach a link also to another video where I have done the, the butter ganache. And I am adding, it is oil-based food coloring by Color Mill. This was a, um, a pack of colors that coordinate together that I purchased on Amazon. Again, link in the description box. And the oil-based food coloring basically keeps it from seizing up, which you need for this type of technique. Now I did add a little bit of vegetable oil just to thin it out a little bit because I needed to do this layering technique. And this is when you do acrylic pour, you layer your colors up just like this. And originally I was going to do a flip cup technique but it did not work and I learned from the first go and um, what you will see is my second attempt at this. Um, so basically I am just layering up the different colors. Now you have to work kind of quick with this because you don't want your chocolate getting firm on you too fast because then it's hard to work with and you can't really easily melt this because you don't want your colors to be mixed together. What you're going for is this marble technique. So I just poured it out on a silicone a silicone mat, then this is for my toppers. And you pour it out and then you just move it around and get some motion, some marbling going into your chocolate there. And I just used a creme brulee torch to lightly go over the surface and pop some air bubbles. Now I put that in the freezer to firm up. And in the meantime, I am doing my textured technique on my uh, cake with just buttercream. And I use that same burgundy color that I used in the chocolate. Now set that in your refrigerator to chill out, to chill up, to chill, firm up. I <laughs> combine the two together. And what I'm doing here is now that this is firm, now guys, don't do what I did. Wear heat proof gloves. I am just, you know, caution to the wind. I just, <laughs> I just take chances, I probably shouldn't. And heat up your hexagon or whatever shape cutter you want, metal, metal not plastic, cutters and press them into the chocolate. And that is going to give you that smooth cut in your geometric shape. And then I'm just using some luster dust mixed with some Everclear to emphasize some of the lines in the marbling. And once you get these done, pop them back in the refrigerator um, to firm up since this is just ganache basically. And then I did spray some um, confectioner's glaze on that to make them shine. I did both sides, but I didn't show you both sides. So everything's in the refrigerator chilling. And we're gonna get our chocolate marbled wrap ready here. What I did was I have a board that's just a cutting board. I taped my acetate sheet to it and I have two pieces of wood. Now I've only used these wood pieces of wood with food. Make sure they're clean, sanitized, because uh, you're using this with food. And I'm taping them down to the board also, because I want to stay within these two lines. And it's holding down the piece of um, acetate at the same time. Now I have the chocolate left over from when I did the pour for the toppers, and I'm just using it again and just pouring it on the acetate, and then I'm just gonna move it around again. This is just gonna be a partial wrap, is what I end up with here. And then when I get it the way that I want it, 
get it spread out to the sides far enough, I pop that in the refrigerator to firm up also. You could do the freezer if you want to speed it up, but the refrigerator is just fine too. And I did, obviously, I did remove the pieces of wood because it was firming up and it wouldn't fit in your refrigerator or your freezer with the wood on there. And I did, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting, I edited this a couple days ago and I'm forget forgetting steps here. I put another piece of acetate on top and smoothed it down to get rid of air bubbles. Because you're gonna have to flip it. This is the side that I want, not the back side. So I put it in the refrigerator to firm up and what I did was I put a towel on top of this. A warm towel. I had put it in warm water and I just let it set on top for a little bit because if your chocolate is firm too much, it's not gonna wrap around your cake. It's gonna, it's gonna crack. So I warmed it up a little bit, put a little layer of chocolate on there and then wrapped it around there. So I just left that warm towel, wet towel on it long enough to soften it a little bit. And then I'm just using my cake ring to secure it in place while I chill it in the refrigerator again until that chocolate is set firm enough that the acetate just basically pulls off. Now I did have a few cracks, but what I did was I used my creme brulee torch again and I heated up my spatula and then use it to smooth the chocolate down. And it worked great. Like I said, this was just, it was an idea I had. I've never seen it, so I'm learning as I go here. And then once I've got that all fixed, then I put some of the um, gold lines on the chocolate wrap also to combine, get the, the wrap and the toppers to coordinate. And I did spray it with some confectioner's glaze also. I don't think I show you that, but I did to add some shine. And I'm just using a thin brush, a, a, a thin uh, paintbrush that is just cake dedicated or cake dedicated brush. To get our toppers in there, I'm just putting little slices into the buttercream on top and then sticking them right in. Now, if you need some reinforcement, you can add some buttercream to the back. And this is a cake that you will want to leave in your refrigerator um, until maybe a half an hour before you serve it because you don't want your chocolate to get all droopy on you. Unless you're really good with tempering chocolate, which I am not. And I don't know that you could get this um, effect with tempered chocolate. But if you leave it in your refrigerator, you'll be fine. And you could do this with any colors you want. I know this is more of a fall palette. Um, but I needed to get my colors in a couple of days. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't always plan ahead as much as I should. Um, and this is what was available on Amazon to get it in time. And I love these colors together. And since it's a package deal, an already figured out um, color palette with Color Mill, I knew that all these colors were gonna work together. And then I just edged out the um, hexagons with a little gold so it worked with the edged out chocolate wrap. Then to finish it off, I have some gold dragees in varying sizes. Um, again, I will link that in the description box. Um, I purchased these on Amazon as well. They are, it's just a kit of different sizes and shapes of gold dragees, and they're great. That you can get them in silver also. I don't know if they have anything besides gold or silver. Those are the only ones that I've seen, but I haven't looked for like a rose gold. Maybe they do have those. I should look for that. And they should stick by themselves on the buttercream pretty well. Because by this point, your buttercream's starting to get a little condensation because it's coming to room temp. And they stick really well. But if, you, if that does not happen for you, you can just add a little bit of water and they will stick on with just a bit of water. And there it is all done, guys. I think it's really pretty. And I might try my original idea again now that I've learned all the little tips and tricks and in, in the things that did not work the first time. So I hope you liked it, and we'll catch you on the next one. 
So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to check out my other social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.